steps that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down our mind and bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. This allows us to relax and soothe any tension we may feel in the upper parts of our bodies. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes if that feels good for you. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe the thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for you. As we continue to gaze the eyes down, relaxing in silent meditation, four natural breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, shoulders flows up towards the ears, spinal cord is long. As we interlace our fingers together with the pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, heart chakra is open, chin is up, arms flow slightly towards the back of the room, filled in this slight back bend here. Hold this for three breaths if that feels good. Two breaths. And exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Keeping that heart chakra open and that chin up. As we are using our pose to channel in any positivity, hope, and inspiration. Welcoming in positive change. As we allow anything that is no longer serving us to leave our bodies. With the eyes gaze down, two more breaths. Twisting the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Connecting that left hand to the right knee if that feels good, going deeper in that twist. Allowing the eyes to, to glaze down for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that seated star. Palms are slightly off towards the side. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Connecting that right hand to the left knee to go deeper in that twist if that feels good. With the eyes gaze down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that seated star. Palms are out towards the side. Flowing into that salute, palms are together. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that seated crescent moon. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Crescent moon, opposite side. Feeling that side then. Gazing up at the heavens. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Allowing that right hand to flow downward towards the earth. Palms are connected as our body leans towards the right. Feeling that side bend. You'll feel this here in your side body. We are going nice and deep. Two more breaths. 
Exhale and back to center. Both palms are above. Allowing that left hand to come downward towards the yoga mat, connecting the hand to the yoga mat as our bodies lean towards the left, feeling that nice deep side bend here. Coming down close to the earth, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale the body back to center, releasing the right hand downward towards the earth. Both of our palms are connected to the earth. Gaze in the eyes down. Relax on the shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. With our palms connected to the earth, may we tune into our environment. Take your notice of what is going on around us right here, right now, without judgment, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. And our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. And our diamond, our feet are further away. Both of these poses are hip openers. Doing a pose that feels best for you as we connect our hands to our feet or our ankles. Slightly hinging at the hips, allowing the torso to come downward towards the feet as the head melts down, shoulder blades flows forward. You may notice that when you hinge at the hips, you'll feel this in your inner thighs as we are opening up and soothing the hips. As we are hinged forward, you may also feel it in your lumbar, your lower back. Allowing the eyes to gaze down. Feeling the body relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into our diamond or our butterfly. With the heart chakra open, the chin is up. We're going to allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, coming into a seated cow. Tucking our tummy in at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our calf, bringing our chin to our clavicle. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Tummies are tucked at our navel. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow. And exhale, cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly, using our hands to bring our knees inward, straightening our legs into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side, toes are pointing up towards the heavens, spinal cords nice and long, tummies are tucked, shoulders relaxed down away from the ears, placing the palms on our laps as we are gaze forward, taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Three breaths of silence. Two breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads in that salute, chin is up. Exhale the prayer, palms at heart center. Slightly hinging at the hips. Pointing our toes downward towards the earth, coming into that plantar flex, our ballerina's foot. We can come down to a complete forward fold if we choose, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottom parts of our feet as our shoulders relax forward. Head melts downward towards the knees. Eyes are closed or shut it downward. 
as we relax here, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up to half forward fold. Coming up to our staff pose. As we lift our right leg up in the air, right knee's in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. We're going to cross this right foot over that left leg. Bringing this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. Slightly gazing over that right shoulder. To go deeper in this twist, yes, we can cross this left elbow over that right knee. Feel in the spinal cord, decompress, relaxing and soothing. This pose is good to help relax and stretch the spine. Soothe the mind and body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that staff pose, straightening both legs in front of us, breathing our arms above our heads in our salute. Palms together. Exhale the prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Slightly hanging at the hips, coming into half forward fold or complete forward fold. Three breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back up to our staff pose. Back's elongated here as we breathe that left leg in the air. Left knee is up, right? Left knee is up, left foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna cross this left foot over that right leg, taking this left hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us, gazing over that left shoulder. We also can cross this right elbow over that left knee. As we feel our spinal cords twist and soothe, allowing the eyes to flutter downward if that feels good. Take a nice subtle breath here. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale back to center, coming into our staff pose, placing our palms on our legs, shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Eyes gaze down. Feeling the shoulders relax downward towards the earth. Allowing the feet to relax downward. As our buttocks is connected to the earth. May we relax here for three more breaths. Tummies are tight. Tummies are tucked. Two more breaths. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a tabletop pose, hands and knees, palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart. We're going to drop down to our cow, chin is up. This cow pose is good for lower back pain. We're going to hold this for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord flows up to the heavens, tummies are tucked. Two more breaths. Breathing to our cow. And in that cow, we're going to rotate our hips and our buttocks. We're going to move a couple of circular rotations here. Loosening 
our lower back here, the muscles in our lower back, working on the coxie, the lower, lower back. Just noticing how that feels. Tummies are tight. Tummies are nice and tight here. Two more breaths, maybe switching directions if that feels good. Flowing back to our cow. Tummies come down towards the earth, chin is up. Exhale to cat. Come into our table. As we extend our right leg towards the back, feeling that nice long stretch here. Gaze forward with the tummy tight. Breathing that left arm forward, coming into that full sunburn, if that feels good. We can pulse that right leg up, or we can lower the right toes downward towards the earth for balance. Whatever feels good for you here. Freestyling in our sunbird for four breaths. We are balancing and strengthening here. Two more breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Coming back to bird, two breaths. Exhale, back to table. Dropping down to cow, chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale to cat, chin comes to clavicle. Blowing back to cow. Exhale cat. Coming to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Pulsing that left leg up and down if that feels good. Working that gluteus maximus. We're going to find our pause as we extend our right arm forward. We are in that full sunburn. Tummies are tight. If we need to lower our left toes downward towards the earth for balance, feel free to do so. We are building strength and balancing here. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Coming back to bird. Exhale to table, wrapping down to cow, feeling that spine relax and soothe, chin is slightly up, flow into our cat, come into our hands and our knees, we're going to breathe our right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, as we gaze up at our right fingertips, taking a nice breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm thrust through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. <sighs> Shoulder blades melt forward, feeling that body soothe as we take a nice breath in. Exhale, feeling the shoulders melt into the yoga mat. Optioning to wrap that left arm behind our backs, or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever feels good for you in your body here as we go inward for natural breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Mm. 
Slowly unthreading that needle, coming back to our table, dropping down to cow, chin is up. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe that left arm up in the air, fingertips flows towards the heavens, gazing up at those left fingertips, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth, eyes gaze down, shoulder blades melts forward. Feel in the body connecting to our environment. Feel in the body releasing anything that is no longer serving us for our day. Allowing things to relax out of our bodies, flow out of our bodies. Feeling free to wrap that right arm behind our backs and our thread the needle if we choose or extending that right arm above your head, palms flat on the earth if that feels good. As we continue to relax in our thread the needle, allowing things that no longer serve us to relieve and release, shall I say, from our bodies. Three more breaths. As we slowly unthread that needle, coming back to our table, dropping the body down to cow, chin is up. We're going to hold this two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Coming back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs if that feels good, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, if that feels good. Tummies are tight. We're going to find pause, shifting our weight forward, high plank, hovering over the yoga mat, two breaths. Exhale down to low plank or chaturanga. Coming onto our tummies, Sphinx pose. Four arms are on the earth. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. And you'll feel this Sphinx pose here in your lumbar, your lower spine. This here is a slight back bend, ensuring that our shoulders are not shrugged, meaning we are. Our shoulders are away from our ears here. Having complete control over our backs. As we keep the eyes gazed downward, taking nice, subtle breaths. Relaxing here, silent meditation, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our chest, our torso. Elbows are slightly bent as we push our torso away from the earth. This here is a slightly deeper back bend. Chin is up. Coming to a cobra, straightening those elbows a little more. We are in that cobra pose. Chin is up. Exhale, up dog, taking the thighs off the earth. These poses here are relaxing and soothing our lumbar spine. Two more breaths. Exhale back down to our cobra, coming onto our thighs. Breathing back to our baby cobra, bending those elbows. Coming back to our sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears, meaning we are not shrugged. Have a control of their body here, chin up. Taking a nice deep breath in. 
Exhale. Arms. The cobra and the up dog works the arms, the lower parts of the arms and the shoulders, as well as the lower back. We're going to hold this pose for two more breaths. As we flow down to our tummies, coming into a superman, supergirl, swimming our arms forward, taking our legs off the earth. Now we are continuing to work our arms. We're working our shoulders as well as our backs. With our feet and thighs off the earth, we are also working the backs of our legs and our gluteus maximus, as well as strengthening the lower spine. Chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. As we swim our hands backwards, coming into a locust pose. Yes. In our locust, we are continuing to work the muscles on the back parts of our bodies. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Holding this locust pose. We're gonna relax our bodies down. We're coming onto our forehead, coming into a sleeping locust. Connecting our forehead to the yoga mat, our third eye chakra. Our shoulder blades melts forward into the yoga mat. Here in our sleeping, here in our sleeping locust pose, may we connect to our environment. When maybe May we become mindful of what is going on within our minds and our bodies. Taking notice of how we are feeling right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment, simply being aware. Always remembering to be kind and loving to oneself. As we continue to relax here in our sleeping locus for four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out of that sleeping locust, coming back into that locust pose, lifting the arms, lifting the legs off the earth, chin is up, feeling this in your lumbar spine, feeling this in your back and your arms, your gluteus maximus, four breaths. Two breaths. As we flow into a bow pose or a half bow, connecting that right hand to right ankle, half bow. Full bow, left hand to left ankle, full bow, using our hands to lift our torso away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing, swimming the hands forward. Coming into a sleeping pose, stacking our hands on top of each other, allowing our cheeks or our chin to relax on our palms or our forehead as well as our shoulders melt forward, as our eyes gaze down the close, as we are relaxing here today. We are soothing and we are focusing on our bodies. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths.
slowly coming out of that sleeping pose, sleeping crocodile, they like to call it, coming back into that baby cobra. The elbows are slightly bent, torso comes slightly away from the earth, chin is up. Exhale into cobra, straightening those elbows a little more, chin is up, feeling this in that lumbar spine. Untucking those toes, coming to up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Feeling our bodies working, our arms, chin is up. Breathe down, dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, if that feels good for you and your body. Tummies are tight at our tummies. Tummies are tight at our navel, shall I say. As we find our paws, walking our feet towards our hands, coming into that complete forward fold, feeling this full body stretch, head melts downward towards the earth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, backs are straight. You'll be walking our feet slightly apart if that feels good for you. As we come back down to our complete forward fold. Connecting our hands to our shoulders, flowing into a rag doll, if that feels good for you. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side. Feeling that stretch a little deeper. You may also feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four more breaths. Finding pause at center, coming into a wide-legged forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles, allowing that head to melt down. Exhale up to half, forward fold. As we breathe our left hand to our right ankle, feeling that stretch. We're going to cross this right arm behind our backs like we do when I thread the needle as we gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this twist in your spine, in your body. We are lengthening. We are stretching. And we are soothing that entire spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, body back to center, come into that half forward full, slightly gazing forward, two breaths. Tummies are tight at our navel. As we breathe our right hand to our left ankle, crossing our left hand behind our backs like we do when I thread the needle. As we gaze over our left shoulder, feeling that final twist. Mm -hmm. Take a nice subtle breath here. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Wide-legged forward fold, allowing that head to melt down. Walking the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog. As we flow into a three-legged dog, right leg comes in the air nice and high, gaze back at that foot. Bringing that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip flexor if that feels good. 
We can hang out here, flow back into a down dog or flow into a wild thing. Still in the body, flip over. Arm comes in the air. This is a nice deep stretch. Feeling this here in our spinal cord. Yes, we are working our spine here today. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling out, flow into our down dog. Mm. Walking our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. We are building strength. We are lengthening and stretching. As we find that pause, we're going to breathe that left foot in the air, three-legged dog, left side. Exhaling that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip flexor, hanging out here, coming into a down dog or flowing into a wild thing, feeling that nice deep stretch here within the body. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming to down dog. Dropping down to our dolphin. But is in the air. Gaze to the back of the room. Relaxing on our forearms here. Maybe walking the feet closer towards the body if that feels good for you. Pulsing up and down on the tippy toes, noticing that when we pulse, you'll feel the body building a little bit more strength in the forearms. We are strength building. Two more breaths. Finding pause, dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. Keeping our buttocks high in the air, extending our arms in front of us. Torso comes down towards the earth. Our forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth if that feels good for you. You'll also feel this puppy pose in your lumbar spine. Yes, today is all about showing the spinal cord some love and affection. Here in our puppy pose, maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Feeling those shoulder blades, feeling that heart chakra. Connect to the earth. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. With the palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to push our torsos forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that spinal wave, using or allowing the head to also flow in the neck. That way our entire spinal cord is working out here. It's relaxing here. It's soothing here. Finding our pause at center, coming into our tabletop, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our damn dog. Walking our feet to our hand, coming to that complete forward fold. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale to have forward fold. Breathing up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. Feet are connected to the earth. Shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. 
fingertips are just melting and relaxed at the sides of our bodies here. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is opened. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Two breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute. Palms are together, chin is up. Separating our palms, coming into that standing extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the right, standing side bend. Slightly gazed up at the heavens, three breaths. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Leaning the body to the opposite side. Still in that side bend as we gaze up at the heavens, if that feels good. Three breaths. Exhale back to center, breathing our palms together. Exhale to prayer, palms come heart center. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. As our feet are planted into the earth, may we always remember and be mindful of being humble throughout our days and throughout our lives. Always being grounded and rooted in who we are. May we always stand nice and firm in our truth, knowing who we are and being firm with who we are. Here in our prayer, may we go inward, relaxing here, just taking a moment to check in with self, taking a moment to see how self is and how self feels. Four natural breaths of silence. Hinge your neck to hips, coming into a half forward fold, slightly gaze forward, keeping palms at heart center if that feels good. Back to straight. Slightly bending the knees, coming into a chair pose. Palms are at heart center, or we can extend our arms in front of us, coming into that extended chair. Chin is up. Breathing our palms at heart center. As we twist the body towards the right, chair pose twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale and back to center, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, head melts down. This is a counter stretch to the pose we just did, feeling it soothing and relaxing our knees and our leg muscles. Head melts down, taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Four breaths. Exhale to half forward fold. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, maybe coming nice and wide, wide apart, just a little. As we come up to our standing, Tadasana, wide-legged Tadasana, palms are at our side, twisting or bringing our feet outwards towards the edges, 
of the yoga mat, coming into our cactus hands, coming to that goddess stance. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Chin is up. As we pulse the legs up and down, noticing the muscles that we are working in the lower parts of our bodies. Finding pause. May we rock our bodies from side to side, working additional muscles here. We are toning and firming here. Tummies are tight. Finding pause. Exhale up to our standing start. Palms are at the side, heart chakras open. Chin is up, eyes are gazed down. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down to our guided stance, bending those knees, working on toning and firming. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, chin is up. Exhale down to prayer, palms come heart center, shoulders relax down away from the ears. Two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, wide legged, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. Feeling that nice, deep stretch here. Maybe optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side if that feels good. Allowing the body to decompress. This is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center. We're going to walk our hands forward, coming to down dog. Pedaling our feet by walking our dog, walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Exhaling forward to high plank. Tummies are tight, building strength in our arms. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. Allowing the torso to come downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. Your forehead, if that feels good. Arms are extended in front of us, or maybe we'll, or maybe we'll flow into a prayer hands puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you and your body here, allowing the eyes to flutter shut or slightly gaze downward. Taking nice subtle breaths. As we relax in silent meditation for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. If we are in our prayer hands, may we extend our arms in front of us, coming into an extended child's pose. Two more breaths.
walking our hands to the sides of our bodies here in our child's pose, coming into a side child's pose. Just showing our spinal cord a little bit of a little bit more love and affection, shall I say. Feeling this side stretch here in our child's pose. Three more breaths. Bringing our hands back to center as we side bend opposite side, bringing the hands towards the sides, filling that child's pose. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back into that extended child's pose. Palms are in front of us, flat on the earth. As we spiral wave our bodies out of our child's pose, maybe doing three to four spinal waves, allowing the head and neck to also flow in this rotation. Tummies are tight at our navel. Two more breaths. Finding our pose at center, coming to our table, dropping down to cow, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale to catch and comes to clavicle. Coming back to table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks, and we're gonna flow onto our buttocks, I'm sorry, onto our backs. Bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Allowing our shoulder blades to melt backwards onto our yoga mat. Gaze in the eyes down, feeling the body, relax and soothe. Two more breaths. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Reaching our hands down to the bottoms of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth, filling this leg to torso stretch. Two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we use our hands to breathe our legs apart, recline wide legged stretch. Feeling this here in your inner thighs. Connecting the hand to the toes if that feels good, or simply keeping your hands in your inner thighs and feeling that stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Using our hands to breathe our legs back inward to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As our knees flow towards the left, recline, final twist. Feeling this twist and soothe here in the spine. You may even feel it crack. It's definitely going to relax and decompress here. As we take this right arm, bring it out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that twist a little deeper here. Take a nice subtle breath as our shoulders melt backwards into our yoga mat. Eyes flutter down or close. As we relax here, solid meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Mm. As our knees flow towards the right, 
Recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Left arm goes out like a T. Gazing up at the heavens or gazing over that left shoulder. Take a nice subtle breath here as our eyes are gazed down and closed. Shoulders melt back into the yoga mat. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Mm. Keeping our knees up in the air, feet come flat on the earth. Knees are in the air, feet are flat on the earth. Putting our palms next to our buttocks, palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. We're going to work on a bridge pose here, pelvic tilt. This is great for people who sit in chairs all day. Using our hands and our feet to lift that pelvic bone forward. You'll feel this here in your gluteus maximus. It is rounding and lifting that buttocks. It is also it is also lifting that pelvic forward. This is a pelvic tilt. Connecting our hands underneath our buttocks if we choose to go deeper in this bridge pose. We also can walk our shoulder blades towards our spine, noticing how our chest comes higher in the air, as well as our hip flexors here. And if we really want to feel this pulse, this pose, we can pulse the gluteus maximus. Down from the earth, up in the air, feeling that spinal, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch, shall I say, squeezing and tightening that gluteus maximus as our pelvic bone tilts up higher, feeling that tilt, squeezing it. We are working the gluteus maximus. We are rounding and lifting our buttocks. Now we can squeeze it up nice and high and hold it there and just feel the burn. Or we can pulse it up and down. Whatever feels good for you, bridge poles, six natural breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to pulse it down. And we're going to squeeze it up, pulsing it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, feeling that burn. Pelvic tilt is forward. Gluteus maximus is nice and tight. Squeezing it and holding it. Four breaths. Three breaths, feeling that squeeze. Two breaths, squeeze nice and tight. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, relaxing the body down to the earth, breathing those knees into the chest, hugging them in. Nice and tight, hug, hug. Extending those legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Reaching the hands down to the lower parts of the legs, pointing the toes up towards the heavens. As we breathe those legs towards our torso, feeling it stretch here in the body and the spine. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall. Breathing the knees into the chest. Exhale, legs straight in front of us, Shavasana, rest pose. Legs are parallel, side by side. Our backs are connected to the earth, to the yoga mat. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. The sides of our feet are connecting. They are touching. As we allow our feet to completely fall to the side like a V. Filling our legs completely relaxed. Placing our palms, our arms, anywhere that feels the most comfortable for us here in our present moment. As we allow our eyes to gaze downward or close the eyes completely. Using this moment for mindfulness, for meditation, for self-care and self-awareness. As we relax in silence for six natural breaths.
Three more breaths. As we slowly roll onto our side into a fetal pose, keeping our eyes gaze down and close if that feels good for us. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes and rotating our feet and our ankles. Moving our buttocks and our hips. Using this top hand to push our bodies up to our seated pose, or we can feel free to stay in our laying position if that feels good for us. I am gonna come into a cow face. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you and your body. Ensuring that the tummies are nice and tight, tucking in at our navel here. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Again, not sunken. Having control of that spine. With the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Facial muscles are relaxed. Forehead is relaxed. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As we flow our palms above our heads in our salutes, fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch. Interlacing the fingers if that feels good. Arms flow slightly towards the back. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhaling back to center. Coming into that salute. Breathing our palms down that heart center. The thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. Shoulders are relaxed downwards, away from our ears. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time or self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me seems, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.